Yeah, uh, not an ideal uh, weekend. Uh, however, if I look at Keelor and Knox, uh, both teams I would expect to be in the top four. I think uh, Keelor in, in particular we turned up. Um, they've signed Madut and also Denga Kuth. Um, then you've got Zuni, Kwani Kwani, plus two imports. Uh, they're they're going to go deep into the playoffs, we expect. So we didn't have our best, best weekend. I think it's still going to take some time to gel uh, as a group. Um, Terrell may miss this weekend with an ankle injury that he, he's been struggling with over the last couple of weeks since his arrival. So we'll, we'll see how he pulls up. But um, yeah, it's a big weekend in front of us against Casey and then Eltham. And we're back in the pack fighting for a spot in the playoffs. Yeah, I think when you bring an import in like Terrell uh, Brown, I mean, he's a ball dominant guard that we expected. We didn't uh, know that Clint was going to put his hand up. So when you've got someone in there that is going uh, and getting 20, 25 shots a game, it really impacts on everyone. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the training track and trying to get back on there and establish a, a little bit of a, a system and some chemistry among the group, which we've struggled with as well. Um, we've had so much sickness and, and guys unavailable due to NWBU and other commitments that uh, we haven't really had a full team on the floor. So again, I think the best is yet to come, but we've, we've certainly got to find a way uh, this weekend in particular to try and split this road trip. And it's going to take a fair bit of grit and tell us a lot about all, all the individuals involved. Who were you pleased with on the weekend? There's always upside, especially against quality teams like that. Who were you pleased with? Yeah, look, I was I was pleasantly um, pleased with um, Jordan Strassman came off the bench and I think he was a plus nine both games. Jordy Hargrave did a really good job as well. So I think our bench guys have really stepped up. Um, it's more getting that chemistry among the, the leadership group and the starting five and, and continuing to grow together. But um, again, we're only we're halfway through the year. We're six and five, and uh, as the Keelor and Knox coaches both said to me, it's going to be really who can get on that role uh, in this middle part of the season. So, massive couple of weeks coming up for us against, um, as I said, uh, we got Eltham and Casey, and then the uh, rival rivalry against the Thunder could be huge, especially when they've gone away and won two games. So. Then there's a bit of a mid-season mid, uh, break, uh, so this next three games, if we can squeeze two out of the three, we'll set ourselves up nicely for the run home. So you're on the road again this week, that makes it tough. <laughs> Mate, life's tough at the moment, so uh, we'll just live with it and, and keep pounding away and hopefully uh, we can turn this corner and, uh, and, and finish on a high in the back nine, ten games of the year. And. Um and the ankle injury, so you're going to rest him up, the speed stuff? Yeah, look, he, uh, he, he tweaked it again in the first game against Keelor and probably wasn't at his best and then came out against Knox and um, started the game in sensational style and um, what we're expecting of him. And then if you watch the videotape, you can see him do it pretty bad on a transition basket, so uh, which really has put him in doubt for this weekend. So we got him with the medical staff. We're trying to do everything we can to suit him up, but we won't risk him. It's, it's still a long way to go this season, and we'll see how, how he pulls up. You lifted a few of the players that came up against last weekend. Is the competition about as competitive as it's ever been? <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, those two sides on the weekend, I haven't seen two sides with that much depth. Um, for Junior Madut to come into the side and come off the bench and one of their imports is, yeah, it's just madness at the moment. And Knox have got another 6-7 import coming in this week uh, on top of their NBL guys, so it's not going to get any easier. Um, it's going to be a tough season and these teams are obviously spending a lot of money and, and we've always been the underdog. We'll continue with that status and we'll continue to fight and see where we land. Thank <laughs> you.